LEGO Marvel Super Heroes is the 14th licensed LEGO game developed by TT Games. It was released last year and I also did a Let's Play on it, which you can check out right here. So going into this game, I had no idea what to expect. I haven't played a LEGO game since LEGO Indiana Jones, so I knew that I could either love this game or despise it. But I finally played through the whole thing, so let me give you my thoughts on the game. The one thing that really made me want to play this was the fact that this game was very similar to the Ultimate Alliance series which are some of my favorite superhero games of all time. While I don't believe this game is as good as Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2, it's still a blast to play through. The game is filled with great boss fights, great levels, and genuinely funny moments, generally involving Stan Lee. You made it just oh. in time for the big escape. Carnage! Red Skull! Rhino! Oh, sweet. Stan Lee! <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what the heck? The game's biggest strength is its charm and its light and nonchalant tone. The game is filled with references from cutscenes to even some of the characters' fighting animations. The story centers on the Marvel heroes trying to take out Doctor Doom before he uses his giant Doom Ray. Nearly every character from the Marvel Universe has a place in this game, including the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and of course, the Avengers. The more I played through the story, the more I wished that Marvel owned the rights to Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, and X-Men, so a movie like this could be possible, but that will probably, unfortunately, never happen. The thing that absolutely makes this game worth it for me, however, is the open world. You can explore the entire city of New York, all fully fleshed out with cars and people. The game also has 155 playable characters, which is just insane. Being able to play as any one of these in this huge open world is tons of fun and it's something I didn't really show off in my LP. The game does have some problems, though several puzzles in the story are repetitive and boring and are only there to make your playthrough longer. The game is also extremely easy, but I guess it really isn't made for someone like me. Some bosses seem rushed and out of place, like Aldrich Killian, who is only really there because of Iron Man 3. However, the pros far outweigh the cons here. If you're a Marvel fan, you will absolutely love this game, and I recommend a price tag of $40. If you're not a Marvel fan or a LEGO fan, there's really no reason to buy this. This game was a big surprise for me, however, and I believe it's one of the best games available on next-gen consoles. So, who's behind all this? What exactly are they up to? And will it cut into my hot tub time? I don't know, I wish I knew, and yes, 